Hello everyone and welcome back to our new Let's Play. So we have our Sim Eric here who did our Discover University one and he has been invited to this haunted house to see what is going on and what is inside. So this is a fourth story London townhouse that is full of mystery and intrigue that we are gonna hopefully find out what is going on in this house and there are plenty of bag people <laughs> lots and lots of bag people about so let's go see let's go see and investigate what we can find in this house so this house is was an explorer's house we kind of left it it's been here for years we've had got random bits of furniture we've got really old stuff we've got no no central heating we've only got fireplaces and it's all falling apart we've got cracks in the walls we've got our candelabras that are everywhere and it is super super spooky so that's this is the first floor there is a basement as well and there's floors and floors going up so let's investigate let's investigate further uh, upstairs we've got a creepy nursery Ooh, so creepy let's put all the fires on so then <laughs> hopefully we don't start a fire by doing this but let's see i want to try and keep all the candles on how do you keep the candles on light all the candles there we go so we're just going to be lit by candlelight <laughs> in this big creepy house and we have all that we have on us is a few bits that we've taken from uni so we could paint some ghosts we could do some yoga <laughs> we've got football we've got our laptop as well we've got a few books we've got a little graduation thing and oh, he's already whipped out the laptop of course course he can and then we've got a an attic upstairs as well i think we have on the wall we have what looks to be the owner or a relative or something like that we've obviously got the spookiest sim of all jerry and then we've got the creepy house as well old family mansion but everything in this house is super mishmashed we've got like different odd bits of furniture we've got swords on the walls and everything so we are here here to see if there are any ghouls or goblins in this house we are also <laughs> dressed as a what Eric considers to be a paranormal investigator outfit. He has some lots of utility pockets full of EMP readers and all different sonic scanners and everything like that. So I feel like we should explore and see what the basement, what's in the basement. Because I'm sure it's spooky. Evil, evil statues. And except he like appreciates art, so <laughs> he he definitely likes all this weird stuff. Oh, we've got a little oh, cow plant. I think it's not till we've got a few hours. So what's in the basement? So I know what well, there's a sleep. <laughs> it's like what is in the basement? What is down here? Let's go in. Oh, he was an explorer. We have jungle adventure stuff. Is there anything in the jungle adventure chest? No. We've got skeletons. We've got decoration box. I don't think we want to put up our harvest day festivals. We could put it's We've got an empty room. That's a bit spooky. We've got stuff to do laundry. We've got crafting stuff. We've got our random pet ball. It's obviously going back up <laughs> upstairs. All right, let's get that lit. Are we hungry? No, we need some social. And we need some other bits. Can he not bite it? I think because the table's so close. No, he can't. That's a shame. Let's have a look outside. Let's go here into the garden. It's looking a bit overgrown. We've got leaves everywhere. We've got thorns. We've got bees. Let's try and 
Let's try and bond with the bees that we have here. Our dad was a beekeeper back in the day. I don't think we're going to do much of the, the first, the holidays and stuff. Can we don't bond with the bees. Yes. We've got this greenhouse here as well. Which I don't know. This greenhouse, We've got an overgrown well. It's a bit creepy. We've got these creepy vines growing everywhere as well. Bond. Bond with the bees while we wait. <laughs> They look like they've been there for years with all their tattered boxes and everything. Very creepy. Oops. Oh, those bees don't like us. And then inside, we've got our flower table, we've got some pots, we've got things for growing. I don't think we've got any seeds that we could grow. No, we've got machete. Always comes in handy for ghosts. <laughs> We've got a seed packet on the floor. Let's open the seed packet and see if we can actually plant some stuff. I think he was going off. I'll put it in the inventory. Right, go go do your needs <laughs> while we wait. Oh, someone's Oh, that's his girlfriend. She's wearing a bag on her head. Let's invite her in. Oh, oh, we've got our first ghosts. Hello. Hello, playful ghosts. Uh, do we have anything? Oh, I can present him our awful, awful monster picture that we drew as a child. Yes, I'm sure the ghosts, the ghosts and the ghouls will love, love that. I don't think we'd get spooked this early. It's only 5 p.m. <laughs> Just chilling out on the street. A happy little, happy little thing. Oh, where is he? Is he downstairs? <laughs> Took him like 20 years. Let's go say hello. I want to offer you my picture. My monster picture. But she's inside anyway. Good. We can get our... <laughs> get our social up. We go. Oh, he has to go all the way around for some reason. The spirits not want to talk to us. How dare they? Oh, they've gone. Right, let's talk to her. Uh, deep conversation. Don't know. Talk to her with her bag on her head. <laughs> One of these stupid neighbourhood policies where they all have to have a bag on their head. Should we ask her to stay the night? <laughs> it's like, if I have to stay here, you have to stay here too. I right, ask about day. She's like, why the hell are you staying in this house? You are strange. Be thankful. But let's try and cook something. Don't really want to have a grand meal. Uh, what do we want? Let's have, let's have dumplings. What's she gonna do? Steal, steal the old books. I'm so happy this platform works as well. <laughs> I haven't played, done some, haven't done some gameplay in ages. Let's see. Was it 9pm or something like that? That the ghouls, the ghouls and goblins fully come out. I don't know whether Claude comes. I don't know what day he comes. Yeah, let's just do some push-ups on the kitchen floor. Let's see if there's any other spooky stuff happening. No, no spooky stuff. Not yet, anyway. She doing our washing up for us. <laughs> We've got some like old plates, some old cookies. We've got our bar, some old vintage whiskies, wines. Oh, look at them getting flirty in the haunted house. <laughs> I think we should invite her to stay the night. <laughs> just, just because. 
Oh, I heard something. I heard something. Sleepover sounds great. Yeah, the haunted house. The best. The best kind of thing. I heard something. Perhaps it's just, just the spooks. I haven't played much with the sentiments either. But staying the night can be a good sentiment. He's getting super tired as well. We can clean that up. So the spirits come back. It's nearly 9pm. I don't know whether we're going to get a message saying congrats for living in that haunted house. It's getting so spooky. You gotta love some autumn spookiness. She's good stairs. What candles have gone off? <gasps> Welcome! It's a cruel twist of fate that you've ended up in the haunted house, possibly by the hands of something malevolent that mastermind controls your every action. Maybe make the most of it. Surely there is a good reason to be here. Why am I here? No, I can handle this. I can handle this bitch. You're feeling somewhat courageous. Any rational mind would be afraid, but hey, you, you. we're just gonna go but to bed. <laughs> yeah, what in house? Eh, bed, tired, <laughs> same. We'll just sleep through the spooks. <laughs> Nothing spooky to see here. <laughs> Nothing at all. Harvest Fest is over, thank god. Nothing spooky yet. Try to make this house like super empty so stuff would happen. We first survived our first night! <gasps> what was that? Goosebumps. Oh. What happened? Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Do we regret our life choices? Have a panicked poo. Have a panicked poo. Run! <laughs> when you creep yourself out in the middle of the night. She's like, why? Why did I agree to this? She's gonna get scared and go to bed. Oh, bless her. Take a courageous shower. Quick! I love how dramatic they look when they're scared. <laughs> Very dramatic. You have your courageous shower while your girlfriend's cowering, cowering in the bed. <laughs> Sleep. Scream. <laughs> you just go and scream at her. Ask for encouragement. <laughs> I don't know. I think screaming might be a bit much. Just a tad. Oh, is she making. Oh, it's lottery day. Let's just play that for fun because we've got so much money. Where is he going? He's going to go hide, of course. Buy a lottery ticket. And then. Oh, we haven't had. We haven't... Can't use the hand yet. She just made that for herself. Thanks, love. Thanks. Get some leftovers. Woohoo! Lottery ticket. I don't know whether the ghouls and the goblins affect candles going off and on. Just shove them on all, all, all candles. Uh, like. I want them on all the time. It adds to the effect. I do love all the new stuff in this pack. The sofa is awesome. Even that little bit. I thought I heard something. I could be like, is that a, is that a spooky sound? <laughs> then when it is actually anything, it'd just be like, what? I love some spookiness. Just chilling, chilling on the sofa. We can't scream at you anymore, can we? 
No. Uh, don't want you to join the household yet. We might do later. We haven't discovered the attic yet either, so I think we should go do that. Wait. Eat up. Eat. Wash up. And then we'll go to, we'll go see what's in the let's go see what's in the attic. Go ahead. I see it's in this spooky attic. What is up here? Not a spooky spooky attic. I don't think I can put the roof up because it's too too stupid. I've got a seance table with some spooky antiques. Oh don't go back downstairs. I wanna see we've gotta try our medium skill out and we've got another spooky hand as well. We've got candles. Got some more of these like strange boxes from the other dimension. <gasps> we have got the medium skill. <laughs> what shall we discover about how haunted this house is? Ooh. Let's have a look. A uh, strong positive presence. Spectres are friendly. Positive activity. That's not what we want. Let's, let's try and commune with someone. See if we can get a depressing ghost. Oh, it's starting to snow. Oh, snow. What, what should we discover? Sims. The Sims. I can hear you. <laughs> Such a mystic being. You'll probably be hiding in the attic <laughs> on the second night. Cheru. Uh, she's off. <laughs> I thought that was the ghost. It's like, yes. I've been watching over you for quite some time. I gotta say, I'm not impressed. Oh, damn. Could you at least work on trying next time? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Angry. Angry ghost jerk. <laughs> ghost that is a jerk, I should say. We've got weird, weird shit in a box. In a jar, got a desk. I don't want to do that because I don't want to get. Let's get our. Let's just get our skill up. Where is that skill? Medium skill. <laughs> Why is it still positive? How can I make it worse? <laughs> let's at least get it to level two. No mother. No mother. Cannot. I mean, he's just gonna sing. <laughs> Quick. Turingo. We're nearly there. One more. One more seance. Not a cobweb. <laughs> oh, so close. So close. Now it's raining. Was that because we were communing with the spirits too much? I don't think there's anything down here. What can we do on our laptop? Is he just playing football? Uh... <gasps> so spooky. On the practice ring. Uh... Let's just play a game. Let's play a game of Blick Block. This would be the perfect time to get some spooks. But it's raining, thunderstorming. Oh, here we're gonna get those seeds. Oh, I've got something in the back garden. It's that a twisted tendril. Stuff is happening. It's one twisted tendril. Where is that seed packet? There it is. Open the seed packet. What is he confident about? New world record. Oh, the best. <laughs> the best that he's done. 
<laughs> what did we get? We got a holly and some bluebells. Right, let's go down and plant those. <gasps> We've got a thing in there. We've got a thing. Go here. What is it? Smop the mysterious, mysterious symbol. Or we could just leave it there. Yeah, I think that's that's a good idea, isn't it? <laughs> I think we should just leave the mysterious symbol right where it is, because that sounds like the perfect, the perfect thing to do. Right. Oh my god, it's so spooky. Can't you go here? Or does he not want to go outside? Because it's a thunderstorm and it feels like it's like midnight at one o'clock in the afternoon, which is like constant, <laughs> constant winter vibes. Right, plant our flowers. Now we can give the spirits some... <gasps> that ain't right. What? That's a creepy doll. Where's the creepy doll? Where? Oh my god, where? Where's the creepy doll? Where's it gone? Oh my god, it's so spooky. Where's this creepy doll? Is it upstairs? No. <gasps> Someone just got electrocuted. His brother got electrocuted. That's amazing. He deserved it. Where's this creepy doll? I want to know. It's not in the house unless I'm being blind. Oh, it's being watered. Ooh, got the goosebumps again. Where's this doll? Right, quick. Go here! <laughs> goosebumps. Run! <laughs> Run! I don't know where this creepy doll is. Don't need your umbrella. You really don't need your umbrella, like, go warm yourself by the fire. Right, I think I'm gonna leave this part here. Let's, and we can see if Gaitry turns up in the night. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.